Today I'm reviewing Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. I'm Mark Maya. Welcome to Board Game Coffee. Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective is a 1 to 8 player game of mystery and intrigue. Basically, it's a game where everybody takes turns reading passages out of a book and then working together to solve its mysteries. Kinda sounds like Sunday school. <laughs> Except for all the murder. No, wait. Okay, I'm just gonna lay it on you straight. No matter how good everyone says it is, Sherlock is not for everyone. For one thing, there's a lot of reading. I mean, a lot. It's all you do. You read, take notes, and discuss. It's more like a group assignment than a game. Albeit, an interesting work assignment, but only if you have the right group. And sure, a bad group can ruin any game. But I get the sense that the fragility of a Sherlock group's fun factor is tenuous compared to most other game night propositions. So mitigate expectations when proposing said night of murder and mystery. Let your group know up front that we're playing a Sherlock game. There's a lot of reading involved, note taking, and discussion. And it involves no dice, miniatures, or deck building. Matter of fact, it's more like an interactive storybook than a game. And it's important that everyone knows this before showing up. Don't go setting up a board game night and then pull out old Shirley locks when everyone arrives. Because spending a night reading out loud to a group of people hanging on your every word might not be everyone's idea of a relaxing Friday night. It's not mine, but you know what? I had a good group and we had a good time. But no matter how good a time it was, I cannot recommend this to everyone. But if the idea of reading and solving a mystery with a group of friends sounds like a good time, then I do recommend this game to you. The stories are actually well written, which I'll admit I was not expecting. Now I did do a few things off book that I think really helped our group experience. First, I went out and made photocopies of the newspaper so everyone around the table would have a copy to scribble on. I also went out and bought notebooks, pencils, and sharpeners for everyone. Then as a group, we assigned two official note takers, although everyone did keep their own notes as well just in case. We also selected one person to be our directory looker-upper, and lastly, what I thought brought the whole night together, we had one person volunteer to do all the reading, and he did an amazing job. Accents and everything. And it gave us all a chance to get used to one voice and really focus on the story. And as a host, it's your duty, as it was mine, to make sure everyone at the table is engaged and feels included. Because if one person isn't talking, there's a good chance they're just not having a good time. And although I haven't done it myself, I can see how Sherlock would be a great game to play solo, but even better as a couple. So how did I do it, Sherlock? Not so good. I mean, I sounded like I knew what I was talking about, but I'm pretty sure I'm the one responsible for my team scoring negative five out of a possible 140 and putting an innocent man behind bars. So in short, Sherlock is good. It's better with the right people, but it's not for everyone. And it's really hard. 